couple of things from today's practice. Um, you know, kind of an injury front. Um, we saw Antoine kind of tweaked his chest again, his pec, so he was down a little bit. Taylor McNamara, you know, rolled an ankle. Uh, he should be okay. Um, you know, Christian Tober's going to be out for a while with a broken clavicle. And then obviously Juju wasn't here again today for personal reasons. So um, that's kind of on that front. I thought the guys practiced really hard. Uh, they had a physical practice, a good one, a lot of threes getting work. Um, they'll get a couple days off and then we come back to work Saturday, uh, which is a bonus Monday for us as we move forward. And then so for us as a staff, we get to recruit, recruit for a couple days um, and then get focused on Washington here on Saturday. Um, regarding Juju, I know you said it's personal reasons. Are you able to elaborate on that nope, at all? And it's personal. Do you, do you think he's going to be back Saturday? Uh, I think it's personal, okay. honestly. You know, I, I think to be fair to him and, and when he gets back, we'll, we'll address it then. But for right now, it's a, it's a personal issue that, you know, as a coach, you, you, I have to be there for my players. And, and right now, that's the status that it is. That's fine. Um, we talked a lot about the running offense. What do you think about the run defense in the last game, and how can you? It was okay. I thought it was okay. The first play was obviously discouraging. You know, they snap off about a 50-yard run, um, but but we settled in a little bit after that. I want us to get better. You know, like everything, I want us to run better. I want us to defend the run better. Um, but you know, we're we're still a work in progress. Steven scored four touchdowns in four games. Is that? Did you expect that productivity from him at the beginning he's, of the season? He's dynamic with the ball in his hand, that's for sure. And you see the explosiveness, especially on some of the, the bubble screens and now screens he's able to make people miss. He showed great speed on the sideline touchdown run the other night. So hopefully you know, we continue down that road with him. He makes us, he makes us a unique offense that way. You see Jalen Green doing some of the things mm -hmm. he's doing. Does that give you some, like, wow, he's gotten a chance and look what he's doing? Well, what he gives us is versatility. He's a really bright guy, you know, with his quarterback background. He's got a high football IQ. He basically knows every position offensively so we can line him up everywhere. And then now he's showing physicality, which is, which is pretty cool to see. What have you seen out of Kenny Bigelow? as far as his development and production? Well, he's lost a lot of weight, which I think has helped him from a conditioning standpoint. He's still a physical guy at the point of attack. Um, and, uh, you know, for a guy who hasn't played football in basically two years, and I think he's just starting to find his way, but he definitely helps us from a depth standpoint. Will you guys uh, be using the next two days recruiting? Total anything? recruiting, yeah. It'll be awesome. It's fun for us. You know, on another recruiting news I didn't hit on what you guys have touched on probably is Michael Pittman signed his financial aid agreement, agreement which is really cool, a, a big physical receiver for us. But this is a great chance for two days, Gary, for us to get out on the road, um, you know, see some games, get to high schools. Um, we need to take advantage of it because we don't have the natural buy that maybe other people do. So we got to take advantage of our days when we have them. And will you, you have some guys going out of state? Yes, yeah, so we'll have guys, we're gone. I mean, we're basically leaving right now. We noticed that Toa was t playing at center today with the twos. Was that by design or was somebody hurt? Or? No, that was by design. We're just getting them reps, you know, and the bye week is a chance to do that kind of stuff is to get, you know, move a couple guys around. You probably saw Dominic Davis was playing a little bit more receiver this week too. So that's, you know, when you get into bye weeks, that's a chance to kind of move some guys around a little bit. So that's what we tried to do. What about uh, Michael Pittman? talk about him a little bit yeah I like his physicality I mean it, it, for our system as we've come to find out when you have a big physical wide receivers on the outside not only catching the ball but blocking they, they're a real presence for us and I think he's going to provide that uh, that kind of same mold of the position that we're looking for it looks like Kevon's trying to come back mm -hmm. day by day with him right now yeah he looked I mean a lot better today I'll give him credit from where he was maybe a week ago at this time to today, um, he's moving great. Now I think it's just a, a confidence thing of believing he's healthy, but but he's moving fine right now. Do well, Nor. I don't know how much you've looked back at Adoree's one catch and run mm -hmm. the last couple days. It just seemed effortless once he yeah, got into the open field. Is there anybody comparable? Just how he makes it seem so easy once he's in the open field. I there's about one guy I can compare him to, and I'm not allowed to say his name around here, but um, <laughs> he he's just can he has a stride about him it's unique that he can accelerate and get into a stride Ronald's similar that way too though sometimes Ronald doesn't look like he's going but yet he's covering so much ground they, they both are similar that way and I, I think just inevitably that's what fast people look like you know against people that they're faster than so um, it's a pretty good play um, obviously you know we've been meeting as a staff here the last couple days as we're evaluating ourselves through the first four games and um, how do we 
find a way to keep getting number two the ball, right? I mean, he's so effective when he gets the ball in his hand. So uh, we got to keep looking at it and maybe getting Kevon back can help us some where he's not taking as many reps on the defensive side of the ball.